let's talk about high shine. What is high shine? When should you use it? Uh, what type of shoes do you use it on? Uh, and what it is not. So high shine is a finishing wax intended for mirror shines, the final stage of shining your shoes. What high shine is not is it's not a conditioning wax or conditioning paste. It's not a cream and it's not intended to be used all throughout the upper uh, sections of the footwear. It's it is simply intended for finishing shine and adding a little bit of additional protection. Our high shine is completely clear, so there's no pigment, there's no black, there's no navy blue, there's no burgundy or brown. High shine is an advanced product. If you've never shined a shoe before, I don't recommend starting with high shine. I recommend starting with a paste wax, starting with the creams, uh, making sure that your footwear is conditioned first. Those are primary stages for the leather care aspect of your footwear, but you really don't need to jump into high shine right away. Our high shine is essentially three basic ingredients, orange oil, beeswax, and carnauba wax. We've also added some mixed to coforals, which is basically vitamin E oil to extend the life of the um, product on the shelf. Okay, let me show you what high shine looks like got this clear or yellowish tint to it. It gets very dry on the top very fast. That's due to the fast evaporation rate of the orange oil. Orange oil evaporates 3.2 times faster than turpentine or naphtha. So keep the lid on it when you're not using it. Avoid exposing directly to water uh, as much as possible unless you're directly applying it and then you're cleaning off the surface. That keeps the uh, extension of the oils and waxes as long as possible. I used to personally use the lid for adding water droplets here and taking this, but then what I found is that over time that exposure to water reduced the lifespan of the um, high shine itself. So I like to keep water separate from the container as much as possible. The surface can dry out really fast. But what's important to understand, and I'll show you here, is that this product is a high percentage of orange oil. And so this cake, essentially wax cake, is what it is, has chocked full with this nice juicy orange oil all underneath. See those layers? It's really smooth right here. If you ever need to access that oil, you can often scrape off the surface or something like that. It evaporates super quickly. So if you ever need to access that oil, you can do so very easily by just cutting open the cake or um, scraping off the surface layer and getting that surface dry wax right off of the top. How do you know if your high shine is in good usable condition? Well, I just sliced into it. But what you can do is I like to rub around on the surface and smooth it over. Part of the functionality of high shine is that it melts down the under layers with that high solvent con uh, content, is that it is smoothing and making it so that any of the roughness of the under layers of cream or paste wax on the leather toe or heel gets smoothed by that orange oil. So what you can often do is you can rub around in circles until you get a nice smooth access point that then you can apply that smoothness to the leather itself because you're both smoothing as well as building up with stiffer wax layers on the top. Okay, so what kind of footwear do I want to apply high shine to? So this is a pair of derbies that's been cared for. It's got cream taking care of the uppers. It's been conditioned uh, and it's got some paste wax on the toes and heels so that I know that it's got a base layer that's already built up of kind of the base protection of these. And it's using colored wax. Um, so it's, it's making sure that the scuffs are maintained as I would start applying it to the toe and to the heel in circular amounts. And I use my fingertips when I first get started. Okay, so I take the high shine, as you can see, it's got that smooth layer on the top. I do a few circles at first to make sure that what I'm getting on my finger is smooth. I'm not grabbing, you know, fingertip chunks. I'm not um, smearing thick wax all over it. It's a very thin amount. So I'm taking that thin amount though, and I'm applying it 
in circles onto the tip of the shoe. Now, I don't always use circles. Sometimes I'll use fore and aft, especially if I'm building up that base layer because grain has direction. And sometimes what you can do is you can build up that base layer faster by doing it like this. So you'd be going side to side or fore and aft and pressing down that wax layer into the leather. So either way is totally fine. But what's important to note is that as you're doing a finishing shine, the eye doesn't recognize radial blemishes as much as it notices vertical and horizontal blemishes. So it's useful to um, finish the shine in a circular way. And I find that sometimes you get less streaking that way. But we're gonna, we're gonna kind of go with what I showed you and just, just apply it. Now, if you notice, I'm not putting on tons of wax. I'm putting it on in thin amounts and basically allowing the leather to fog up and I'm pushing the wax back in to the grain and kind of putting it in strips or in layers rather on the surface. But I'm not worried about whether it looks beautiful, um, streak free, uh, quite just yet. Okay, so after doing maybe one or two rounds of base layer, you can add more if you want. If you're gonna go for a super high shine mirror shine, you can add as many layers as you want. But what I do recommend is that after every maybe one or two layers, that you take a moment and you buff it down with a nice buffing cloth and some water, because what that does is that helps um, smooth down the base layers before you move any further. Okay, here's what I use soft cotton flannel. And this is what we sell as our high quality polishing cloth on our website. It's got some tension to it, but it also has the nice softness of that flannel. I put a little bit of water on it. When I say a little, just a couple of droplets. And now the first thing I do is I just take the water and I just smooth what I had just applied back down. Now, as you can see, there's, I've got some moisture on that. I'm gonna immediately dab the wax. And when I say dab, I'm just pressing. I'm getting a little bit onto the flannel, going back to the leather. And now, if you notice, I'm doing circles. Um, orange oil really evaporates quite quickly, so it's best applied in thin amounts. the final result you want to have looking like glass. So it's important when you're using paste wax or high shine, mirror shine, those sorts of products, that you're only using it on structured areas because there's such a high amount of carnauba wax in it. You don't want to use it on area any area that's going to flex because if it flexes, it's going to crack and crumble and look like a candle. So right, again, going to the heel, get a little bit of water, go over the heel, Dab the wax. Circle motions. So if you notice, it's already starting to get pretty glassy smooth. And the front's already getting nice and shiny. I really only use the two base layers. I've kind of done um, a spritz and uh, one more layer over the top of the surface. Uh, it's already looking nice and shiny. Um, what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to run over it with just a little bit more water. As you can see, it gets uh, results quite quickly in the ability to get a shine. Um, really, this is everything I showed you. That's what you use your high shine for, and you can just continue with this process. You can even go back after this, and let's say you want to make it even more spectacular you can go add an additional layer uh, with your fingertips and then buff it down again. So hopefully that answers your questions. Uh, let me know if you have any more.